Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. So, you know, I'm just sitting here, I'm listening to the sounds of my two smithy workers. This is pretty awesome, actually. I'm hoping that this is going to solve some of my <laughs> tool crafting problems. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Yeah, I think axes were the thing that I was having trouble with. If we take a look at the, um, the smithy, and we can see that, um, yeah... So iron pickaxe, iron axe, stone knife, wooden shovel, and wooden hammer. Uh, the shovel I've reduced, and the hammer I've basically reduced to as little as possible. They we do need to make them because they're needed for the rest of the village. But we seem to, I don't know, we seem not to either not be using them quickly or making them much faster than, well, I mean, it's they're not being made very quickly. Anyway, so the, the, the thing is, though, we're going to have to keep an eye on this. Uh, I'm hoping, well, let's take a look at the situation with the iron axes. The problem is I don't know how many, I often will make stuff by hand and then, yeah, there's six in here now. I, I, I checked before and there were five. I think that they're kind of a little OP on the, on the iron axes now. I'm thinking, and I notice if you take a look, I, I did check earlier and I don't see any knives. So that's got me a little worried. There's no no knives as far as I could see. Well, okay, hang on. You know what? Tools. Let's be careful about this. I don't see any knives. Okay, good. Yeah, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to adjust a little bit. We're just going to tweak things a little. Uh, to account, we have two smiths now. So this might, we might be able, to, we might have to adjust things. So we can maybe back off iron axes and bring up stone knives just a tweak we're just gonna a little nudge we're just gonna nudge a little bit here i i think it's gonna be fine so there we go all right <laughs> the other thing is i do have uh in my inventory i do have some wool i have some wool thread oh i've got a bunch of seedlings <laughs> yeah we're gonna have to we're gonna work that out as well i'm gonna keep those on me so i don't forget because i do want to i do plan on placing a few more are you, were you watching me, were you watching me yesterday when I was trying to place all the trees and stuff? Is that, is that what you're complaining about this time? You don't, you didn't like where I was sticking, you thought it was, I was being too slow? Oh, good grief. Well, you know what, if I gave you a seedling, would you be able to plant it? I don't think so. Oh, sure, really? Yeah, better than me. Oh, little goose. That, that. That goose, I tell you, it's uh, nothing but trouble. All right, now, uh, where was I? Oh yes, I have wool and wool thread and stuff. Um, I, as I mentioned in the last episode, hey Alruna, how's it going? Don't, don't kill me. Um, <laughs> no, Alruna's on my side. She knows that I've got her back, right, Alruna? Look at that. She doesn't even have to. She doesn't even have to touch the wool, the 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 the, the, the thread there. It just, it just hovers near her hand she's like magical <laughs> all right so i have some wool and some wool thread the wool thread i i just made and uh i made i did that remember we purchased some wool thread from uh one of the villages uh one of the ranicas and uh i i have the wool thread because i well we're gonna see there's a few things i can do with it uh, but I needed to rescue it from uh, Aruna here because she's so efficient. She'll make cloth out of it. Yeah. <laughs> but I did touch on the fact that uh, earlier I need some uh, some serious clothing. Joined hose. So now, what's the fanciest clothing? Uh, well, we've got uh, pants. What am I wearing? Let's take a look at what I'm wearing. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I'm. I am. This is. These are the clothes. Hose is what I'm wearing. These are the clothes that I was wearing when I came to the village. So we've got uh, hose, shirt. I don't really know. Is it? Does it's Rasimir's hose and shirt? Is that it's special? I don't know. Um, <laughs> okay. I, I'm wearing fur boots, of course, because it's winter. So let's see what we've got for legs. There's uh, tunics and shirts. What we could? What do we got? Simple linen shirt and then a linen shirt. Is there anything better? Let's take a look. So we've got um, stuff for mounts. We've got bags. We've got hand uh, like gloves and stuff. Do I have a place? To, can I wear gloves? No, there's no. 
Oh, there is a glove compartment. Okay. All right. Maybe we should start with something simple like thick leather. Well, we don't need thick leather gloves. But uh, I'm going to need linen thread and fabric. Uh, linen thread and uh, leather anyway. So let's go get that. I want to make myself some nice, uh, some nice garments. I think that's a good idea. Uh, let's see here. We're going to grab some leather. Wow, my leather supply is actually doing really well. And we'll grab a bunch of that. Holy crud, that's heavy. Okay. And uh, I should have a bunch of linen thread. Yeah, I do. I can grab a bunch of that too, 20. Uh, in fact, we have flax stock, so I could grab, um, I don't know, a bit of that too. And I'm still not overweight. Good, good, good. And we could, I'm just grabbing that in case I need to, mm, uh, oh, this one right here. It, you know what these buildings need? They need, like, the things that you put outside the door, like the signage. Like, this one would be a big spool. Like, a big spool of thread. And this one would be a... Well, I don't know what it would be. A hamburger. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just kidding. This one could be a pottery wheel or a jug or something like that. You know, like a symbol to show what the buildings do. I think that would be kind of cool. All right. Let's take a look. Let's make some gloves. Uh, we're just going to go... We're going to start simple. Uh, with <laughs> make ourselves some gloves. There, ooh, wow, that was quick. Okay, all right. Uh, can I wear them? Thick leather gloves. Ooh, look at that. Oh, they look really nice too. Uh, they provide heat. Uh, they provide cold protection, but not heat protection. Okay, so I can add that to my winter repertoire. Uh, the boots are pretty fancy. They're they're fur boots, so they're good for winter. I don't need to do anything. Quaff. What about my headgear? Is there anything interesting? Well, let's continue up the thing here. We've got what kind of shoes? Now, noble boots. There's fur boots and there's noble boot. Noble, noble. Oh, you know what? I let's get some fur. I just realized we don't have enough fur. I should have grabbed that too. Everybody's excited about my new clothing options. Did you hear that just now? They're all like, just like, they're cheering me on. Oh, wow, I've got a lot of fur. Holy camoleons. Uh, let's just grab, I don't know, that much. There we go. We can grab more if we need it. Do, 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 do. Did I leave anything in here? Sometimes I, no, I don't. I didn't. Okay, that's cool. All right, let's take a look. Uh, noble boots. Now... I'm wearing fur boots, which is 16 fur and 12 leather. Two fur, 24 leather. I don't know uh, which are better. Well, we could uh, unlock the, the fur boots. Well, you know what? Why not? We've got the cash. You know, I think the, f the f noble boots are, are better. So we're going to make noble boots. Yeah, we're going to make one. I'm going to wear... I'm going to wear... Oh, look at my hand. Oh, my hands are gloveded. Gloveded. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Oh, people are... Oh, you know, I, I, the thing I worry about is I don't want my village think I'm thinking I'm getting uppity, right? You know, I'm a man of the people. <laughs> I don't need to need them to think uh, I get, I'm, getting, I'm getting heirs, so to speak. Uh, noble shoes. Yeah. Okay. So let's take a look at the, the boots. So the noble boots, um, they do, uh, oh, that's interesting. Oh, it gives you the, the change. So, uh, 10% less cold protection and, well, you know what? Let's put those on and see. I don't know if it's going to make a difference, but we're going to wear them anyways. There we go. We're going to wear noble boots. Why? And because I'm, I'm very noble. <laughs> Can I see my feet? Oh, look at that pointy. I got pointy shoes. <laughs> Unigos is going to be pissed. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Legs. So for legs, um, what are the, what's the fanciest stuff we've got here? So, you know what? Why don't we uh, unlock uh, everything? Why not? Why not? And I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to look at the manufacturing time to see... Yep, joined hose seems to be the fanciest. I need wool fabric and linen fabric. Okay, we can we can grab that. Oh, oh, whoa. That was a bit of a... Wow, you know, this game is actually so smooth that when, when uh, it lags like that, you really notice. Holy moly, I have never seen that before. Uh, I need linen fabric, which we have a fair amount of, so we can grab uh, some of that. 15. 
And let's grab some uh, wool fabric, which we have a fair amount of as well, because that's what... So the reason why I don't have any wool thread is because uh, <laughs> Aruna keeps converting it. Oh, man, now I'm overweight. Okay, what have, what have I got that I can dump? Um, we got a lot of leather. Uh, we got a lot of flax stock. Why don't we... Here, let's just put some of that away. Okay, let's go. Oh, everybody's done work. It looks like Alruna's magical loom is is uh, is not really doing its thing right now. Uh, so this is the end of day two, by the way, of winter. Uh, oh, before I started recording, let me just get this out of the way. I did take Dalagor and uh, put him to work in the barn as a farmer, not as a crop worker, because he was standing around doing nothing because there was no more crop work to be done. So he's he, it's we've got four people doing stuff in the barn right now, which is pretty good. Okay. Pants. Joined hose. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm getting fancy. <laughs> oh, my God. The, you know, the, my people may not like this, but... Yeah. I, I've been wearing the same clothes since the day I got here. I think, uh, you know, it does wear out after a little while. All right. Let's take a look at what we've got here. We've got Rasmir hose, and then we've got joined hose. Okay, uh, wait a minute, let's, let's, okay, let's put his hose back on. Um, so it gives worse heat protection, but better cold protection. Okay, all right, can I see anything? Oh, eh, eh. I can't tell, I'm trying to look down at my legs, they just look gray. I'm gonna get a drink of water. Let's just get a drink of water. And then, to, uh, there we go. And you know what? Let's have some eaten cabbage. While my my clothes may be fancier, my eating habits are not. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There we go. All right. All right. The let's go back to the Rasimir improvement project. Let's see what we've got. So I think that those are the the joined hose are kind of the fancy ones. I think the hose this is what um, Rasimir is wearing, and this is the next level up. As I say, I'm going by the manufacturing time, which to me implies like the lowest quality is on the is on the lower left, and then as you go clockwise, it's the better quality stuff. Is that true? I have no idea, but we're just going with it. Uh, now it's a simple linen shirt versus a linen shirt. Right now, I'm just wearing Rasimir's shirt, but let's make a here. Let's make a new linen shirt, and we'll compare it with uh, with what Rasimir's wearing wearing right now. If it has the same weather stats, then I'm going to, I guess we can assume it's the same. I'm not sure. I, I, I don't know. Oh, it has better heat and cold protection. Oh, so I'm actually even more fancy. Okay. Yeah. It actually even looks better. Like this looks kind of, I don't know. It looks a little bit rougher. This lo see, look how smooth and genteel. Yeah. I'm looking pretty good. Okay. We're, we're, we're doing really well. Uh, now a tunic is like your uh, is like a uh, your your oh a quilted vest, leather wool fabric, whoa ho 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 ho. You know what? We're just gonna go with a quilted vest. Okay, let's buy that, and let's make one. Now I'm assuming that this is kind of like an uh, it's gonna replace the the I have a well I think I've got like a fur collar or some sort of fur over. Thing that I'm wearing and this is probably going to replace it as long as I have sufficient cold weather wear for winter I'm fine I'll be I'll be happy with it okay all right let's take a look uh, yeah right now I'm wearing a fur hood now what happens if I try to wear the the quilted vest oh it replaces my shirt Ooh. So the quilted vest gives worse heat protection, but much better cold protection. Okay, okay. You know what? Let's just go with it, and we'll 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 swat. Okay. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna leave the shirt for summer wear and the quilted vest for winter wear. Yeah, I like that idea. A tunic. 
Some of this stuff is really cool. Felt. A felt vest. Oh. Well, I'm making one of those. <laughs> Why? Because. <laughs> maybe I maybe I want to wear a felt vest. Maybe I'm feeling very felty. Yeah. So we're just going to go with this. Let's take a look and see what this comes up with. Do, 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 do. Uh, all right, and let's take a look at, we are currently wearing the, the quilted vest or the, the, uh, quilted vest. Now the, the felt vest, what I'm, where is it? There it is. So it gives better heat protection and worse cold. So it would be like summer wear. Yeah. By the way, I'm going to just put my um all my the clothes I'm not wearing in my the chest in the house in my house and then I can switch between them and we can try different outfits on and we can you know I think it's kind of cool. All right, I think we're good on the uh, thing. Collars and hoods. We currently we've got hood, fur hood, long fur hood, long hood and fur capelet. So if we go and take a look at what, you know what? I think Aruna's made a fur capelet. I don't want to wait. You know, Alruna will be so happy that I'm going to wear one of her things. <gasps> she'll be like so... Oh, she'll be over the moon. In fact, oh, a linen shirt. Oh, she already made one. Oops. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We don't... We don't... We can't piss off Alruna. That would be bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, we're going to take... Let's see. Uh, we're going to take this linen shirt and we're going to just, we're going to drop that one. Okay. That's the one I made. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come in here. We're going to, I'm just, this is the only way I can make sure I'm wearing the right one. I can't tell the difference, but I'll bet you anything Alruna can because she's just, well, we don't, we don't piss Alruna off. That's just, let's just say that. There we go. And then I can grab this one and I can put this shirt into storage. Or I could have it as a spare. I'm going to keep it as a spare shirt. Yeah, I'll keep it as a spare shirt. I think that, yeah. Maybe, or maybe we could save it for my son. Or, I don't know, does uh, Norberta wear linen shirts? I assume she does. Maybe she would like it. Yeah, I think maybe she... she I, this stuff will be in the chest. She can take whatever she wants. Uh, mi casa es su casa. <laughs> Norberta. Okay, so... Um, let me see what we've got here. Uh, okay, I think we're good. Let's go and finish off. I don't remember what we were even in there for. I, I'm all over the place. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, we went to get the fur capelet. So let's put on the fur capelet. The fur hood is, okay, that. And then the fur capelet. There it is right there. Is... Better heat protection, but worse cold protection. You know what? I'm going to wear it anyways. Why? Because it's fancy. Okay, so that's collars and hoods. And then for head, we've got uh, a cap with a quaff, cap, quaff. So if we judge by the manufacturing time. Oh, whoa, oh, 22. A bag hat. A hat hat. A bag hat. A felt hat. Uh, how much thread do I have left? How much wool thread do I have left? Eight. Yeah, I don't want to spend it. I don't want to spend it. I think, I think we're going to go with, yeah, these wool fabric. We can go with wool fabric because we've got enough of that. Uh, there's a bag hat, a hat, and a felt hat that takes wool thread. Yeah, see ya. Okay, here's why. I, let me let me uh, let me clarify. Why am I why am I worried about that? Because because I want to make um, improved lighting, and I need. Oh, I only need four wool thread. Oh, but then. Hmm. Okay, hang on. Let's go and see if there's any extra wool. Wait a minute. Do I have how much wool do I have on? Eleven. <gasps> I can make. I can make a. I can make another wool. I can make another one. Ooh, it's kind of dark in here. Sorry about that. There we go. I'll, I, I just need one wool thread to make 
a hat. I'm going to make a felt hat. Why? Because I, I like the idea of a felt hat. The bag hat, I don't know. There's something about the bag hat that it's just not my favorite. So we're going to go with, um, there's the bag hat, there's the felt hat, and then there's like the hat hat, the hat with lapels. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. But I, I like the idea of the felt hat. That, that to me is, uh, that's pretty, I think it's snazzy. So I'm going to, I'm going to make one of those. And I'm going to wear that instead of my quaff. I think that's, I think that's cool. I'm going to look, I'm going to look super suave. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know I'm mispronouncing things. That's okay. I'm, I'm fully aware. And the horse is aware too. Did you hear that off in the distance? Yeah, the horse, even the horse was laughing at my humor. I mean, they're, they're easy to please. So it kind of makes sense. Um, is there a quaff in here? Yeah, there it is right there. It only takes four and a half seconds to make a quaff. And it's fairly inexpensive. So, yeah, it's not exactly what I would call super fancy. Yep. I'm I'm digging. I'm going to wear the... I'm going to have the felt hat. Okay. Let's see. I've got a quaff, but I'm going to put on my felt hat because I'm going to... Well, let's take a look at what difference it provides. Felt hat is worse heat protection, better cold. I'll probably just need some spring wear. I don't know. There we go. Oh, man. I bet you anything I look pretty amazing now. Uh, okay. Okay. I think, is that, is that enough? Do we, have we made enough, uh, tailoring? Oh, well, we don't, yeah, we're not too worried about that. Okay. We're good. There we go. We've made ourselves a brand new outfit and we have some spares. My child has gone to sleep here. Let's keep him warm. There we go. We don't want him getting cold. He's Look at it. He sleeps right under an open window. That cannot be good. That cannot be good at all. All right. So let's put away everything that I'm not wearing. So these are my clothes. I'm going to, we're not going to sell them. Uh, they're, they're, well, they're, they're house clothes. So, uh, as I say, I'm not sure what the situation is with the, with ladies wear. Um, I'm, I don't know. Is it that a linen shirt is just a generic shirt used by, and you know, there's like a, you know, for women, it has a women look and for men, it has a men's look. I don't, you know what? I don't know. But here's the thing. Oh, these are actually, wow. Look at how much the quilted vest goes for. Ooh, ooh, oh boy. My stuff doesn't, you know, sell, but okay. Here's what we got to do though. We got to do this. We got to do this. Oh no, first, first. Oh no, 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 no. I have to do this right. Okay, I'm gonna have let's let's uh let's wash up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm basically washing oh nope, I did that wrong. Okay. I let go of the E key. Uh I am apparently washing myself with my gloves on my hands in the dark, and I can't even see. But look at the reflection. That's pretty cool. Alright. Hang on, we gotta go in here. Oh honey, did you go to bed? Oh, she went to bed. Honey, honey. Wait, don't go to bed yet. Sweetie, sweetie, look at my outfit. Do I look amazing or... <sighs> she loved it. <laughs> no, when they go to bed, they go to bed. You can't stop them. Uh, but anyways, can we see anything in here? Look, see, you can see I've got a... Look at my fancy belt rope. <laughs> I, I, and my gloves. I wish there was like a way to look at yourself in the third person. I don't think there is though. Um, we could look at settings, uh, key bindings, and then these are all the key bindings, by the way. Uh, Torch, interact, journal, uh, last tab, crouch, etc. Inspector mode is the second. I call it second sight because I, well, I find it amusing. Um, Creation, move, dismount, summoning. I don't believe there is a third person view. Uh, I, I would have, I think I would have known if by now, at least, well, you never really know. So, oh, oh, look at, oh, snippy, snippy. You know, I've been running around this village with snippies out. <laughs> but look at my, look at my uh, shadow. Oh, <laughs> snippy, 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 snippy. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh, does my shadow do it too? Oh, it does. Look at that. 
<laughs> so what you can do is you could like go into someone's house and hover over them and do sn and go snippy snippy. No, I'm not going to do that, but I'm just saying you could do that. It would be a bit weird. All right. Um, now that it's dark, and this is one of the things I wanted to do when we when it was dark, is uh, I wanted to make sure that I... There's two two reasons why I wanted wool. Or wool. Well, wool, so I can make wool thread. I needed, I needed to make more of these lanterns. I really wanted to. And so, yeah, we have eight thread, which means we can do two lanterns. All we need is uh, four logs and 16 sticks. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Actually, you know what? Let's put away some of the other stuff first. Let's put away... What have we got? Flax stock. We don't need that. We don't need the furs. Uh, we need leather. Uh, uh, we don't need linen fabric or linen thread, I don't think. I'm going to keep the seedlings because I do want to plant them eventually. Um, let's do that in, in the spring. Oh, no, I don't... No, let's just... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> and then we need the wool thread. And then we need uh, 16 sticks. Let's go here. And Well, we need logs. We need four logs. Um, I'll have to decide on what I'm going to do. Uh, four logs and 16 sticks. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. And then we're going to place some uh, some strategically uh, positioned... Th See, I really think that we need a... Um, like this one here, I think we need to get rid of this one. You know what, buddy? Put away the... No, the hammer's even worse. Okay. Let's... I need... I think we need to... Actually, I need the hammer. We're going to get rid of this little... Uh, this little light standard. Uh, yeah. There we go. And because uh, I want to put a proper light standard now, uh, it should be on this right here. Because as you come in, it's on the right hand side. That doesn't really work entirely, but because you know this is a because um, you can come in from that way, you can come in from that way, that way, that way. Uh, but that's okay. We're just gonna go with it. Uh, let's see. Do do do. Lighting lantern. Okay. Maybe, can we put it, like, right here? Oops. I pressed the wrong key. <laughs> oh, the problem is here... Uh, I, it, it, I'm trying to, to see what is... Um, I think it should just... It should go over the uh, intersection like that. Yeah, that's perfect. I it, it doesn't light this up very well, but that's okay. This is The idea is that it lights up the intersection, and that's what I was kind of going for. Yeah, that's really cool. Nice. Ha-ha! <laughs> All right, and so we have one up here. I can't remember where I also wanted one. We've got one down there. We've got one up here. We could have one over on this far side of the village, over this way. We've got all these little lights, but we definitely need some of the bigger ones. In fact, um, what we could do is put one over here. Yeah, one right here, next to the barn. And it lights up this whole corner. And we can get rid of this one. Yeah, let's get rid of this one. Uh, I hear you. I hear you. You're very, uh, that's but it's okay. We'll we'll it it won't keep you up at like at night. I promise you. Okay. Um, it won't. Stop complaining. Okay. Let's see. Uh. Oh, I need. Uh, oh, I need more logs. Ooh. Okay. I, you know, I thought I got enough logs. Maybe I didn't get enough logs. That's fine. Doesn't matter. We've got. Uh, plenty of logs. And I do have one more thing that I want to do after this, by the way. And I think we're going to put it right here. Uh, let's see. Let's go like this. Uh, like this. And then... Yeah. Right here. 
See, you're still in shadow. Look, you're, you're no, it's not going to keep you awake, Licorice. Don't, you're complaining. <laughs> there we go. I think that works really well. It lights up this whole little corner right here. Perfect. Ooh, that winter is, sound is really eerie. Uh, this one here should not be on this side. Uh, it should be on this side over here. Uh, and the same with that one over there. It should be on the right-hand side over there. But, ah, I guess, you know what? Let's just fix it anyways. Uh, why is that? Um, I kind of touched on it before. It's uh, it's like red right return. So uh, I consider the the uh, this this uh, intersection here to be the crossing, the the sort of center of the um, the center of the thing. And uh, in navigation, and this is well North American navigation. It's there's two different standards. When you go into a harbor, there's green buoys and red buoys, and the whether whether you want to have the red or the green on the right hand side as you're pulling going into a harbor uh, is red right return is the standard for North Americans. So when you return to a harbor, you want the 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 red on the right. So we're having light on the right. <laughs> That's the I know it doesn't. It's kind of silly, but we're doing it. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to have a few of these. So we're going to put one here. And I want to put one over here. Uh, okay, what do I need? Stones. Oh, right. Oh, we've got stones right here. Look at my gloved hands picking up these stones. This is pretty amazing. What a... <laughs> I don't know why I didn't make gloves till now. They look really awesome. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Oh, listen to that wind. That is really cool. Uh, and then we'll do another one right. We could do it right here. Yeah. There we go. Yep, I think this works. And lastly, can we do any more? Someone quite rightly pointed out. Uh, sticks, linen fabric. Yep, we've got one more. Uh, it's very dark and lonely over at the barn. Now, the thing about the barn is that... I'm just going to grab these rocks because they're here. Uh, the thing about the barn is that nobody's over there at night anyways. But that doesn't matter, okay? It It's the... It, I, I, I completely agree that it needs something. It's... Look at it. It's, look at how it's all dark and and eerie and... And look, my... 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 Tr my my um, fruit trees are going to get all scared. <laughs> so I was thinking we could put a, uh, a lantern right outside the door. So I think let's do that. Uh, one of these guys right here. Can I, do I have enough for one more? I don't think I have enough. Uh, no, not that. I don't think I have enough linen. I need linen fabric and linen thread. Oh, what the hey. We're going to do another one. I'll show you where I'm going to put it. It'll make sense. Oh, look at the snow. This is really, really awesome. Linen fabric and linen thread. So we need uh, linen fabric. We just need one. And linen thread. We need one, right? Is that, is that, I think that's right. Yeah. Okay. Let's go put another one down. Do, 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 do. We could put one on the other side of the door, but I don't know. I, I don't I think that I like it better that we can put one uh here on the right hand side right there. So we can light up both doorways. I think that makes more sense. There we go. Nice. <laughs> That's so awesome. Oh, I love it. All right, let's, um, I think we've done enough for tonight. Uh, so really I wanted to leave, I leave doing lighting until night because it kind of makes it worth it. Uh, it, it really does, uh, just like, look at that. Look. Doesn't that look awesome? <laughs> it looks really cool. We could even look at it from here. 
Maybe. I like I like this shot. See how like there's the path down the thing there. Oh, it just looks really good. So let's just uh, yeah. I, we're, I want I want to take more of a look at this now that uh, you know we, it's nighttime and we can take a look and see how things are. You know what we could do? Let's light this up. There we go. That's kind of a neat little setting, isn't it? Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, this is really awesome. And of course, we've, we've already created our palisades. Well, some of our palisades. Yeah. Oh, there's the uh, the watch guy. He's He goes around with his little torch and uh, makes sure that everything's fine. All right. I think we've done enough for one night. I'm just going to get something to uh, drink. We should probably get something to eat. Uh, actually, what I, what I really should do is go and check on the food situation. We added somebody new to the tavern as a worker. And I'm curious to see if uh, they're producing any food. Meat with gravy, okay. Potage, look at that. I I don't know if that was me. I don't think it was. Oh, that's awesome. Meat with gravy. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. All right. Um, first of all, we're gonna grab the. Uh, oh, look at that. That's a lot of carrots. 114. Uh, that are they're they're bad. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. I wanna. Oh man, that's too much stuff. Okay. All right, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm Oh no, I can't do this. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> I want to put this into storage, into the resource storage so that people don't eat it and it's I think it it'll be safer um in resource storage cuz anything below 30% will make people sick. All right, I'm going to do a few uh a few extra little tasks uh overnight, you know, like put away some of the rotting food and or the bad food and stuff like that and and uh, I'll come back in the morning. All right. Welcome back. Good morning. Hello, my dear. Oh, hey, 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 uh, honey, honey. Okay, where is she going? Sweetie, sweetie. Can... <laughs> hey, do you have a minute? There we go. Actually, never mind. All right. What do you think of my outfit? Oh, I think it's really snazzy. I mean, I think it's really cool, but I don't know. She doesn't seem impressed. I... Sweetie, there's tons of clothes in the box. You, you could, did you take a look at the... She's probably going to chat with her friends. <laughs> All right, well... <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, the game doesn't give the the opportunity to, to uh, participate in that kind of talking and stuff like that. Hello, Bedghost. Uh, somebody was saying that they had a Bedghost as well. And he's like, uh, yeah, hello. How you doing? He's a snob. <laughs> Uh, all right, now, uh, the, uh, the, the, the town beautification project does not end there. I do want to continue, and one of the reasons why I've been keeping those seeds on me is because I did want to put some trees in, and I'm thinking we could, if maybe we could fit a couple of trees in right here. I think that would look really cool. At least one tree, but let me take a look. Seven. There we go. And then we could put in a, well, we've got... We've got a pear tree that we haven't done yet, so let's do that. Oh, right. What am I doing? I need... Oh, that's, that's silliness. Uh, first, you need to go to building, then you got to go to crops, and then you got to go to orchard. And can we put something right here? And we put in two or just one? Looks like it's just one. And it'll be up... You know what? I think that's good, right? In sort of nestled into the house there like that. I think that'll look really cool. And I think uh, Radost here. Hey, how you doing there, son? Ah, pretty good, Dad. All right, you want a tree over here? Sure. <laughs> He's like, all right. Um, let's put the... Uh, oh, I need to grub it up first. Okay. Uh, fortunately, we have a hoe. And uh, there we go. And now we can grab the... Um, there we go. And we can put a nice plum... Oh, no, it's a pear tree. We can put a nice pear tree right outside the uh, house. I think that's gonna look really that's gonna look really nice. Uh, you can't get too close to the house because the um, I think there's a like a building envelope 
And yeah, I, I, I think that's trying to fit two in here would be a bit of a bit much. Um, and maybe we could even put one here if we're lucky. What we could probably do is... Hmm, well, let's see if we can put one in. I don't think we're going to be able to, but we'll, we can give it a shot. Uh, building, uh, crops. It, at, as before, this is very difficult to do. Let's put that right there. Let's see if we can... Yeah, see, it. it's really not very... There's not a lot of space happening here. Okay. Because it goes this way, and so I'd need to... Uh, well, I mean... We could... We could uh, get rid of some of this roadway. Um, we could replace it. It's not a big deal, right? Uh, I wouldn't mind replacing some of it anyways. We'll keep that there and maybe get rid of that one. Oh, what the hey. Let's just redo the whole, the whole thing. I know we've already done this once, but... And then we could put another tree in here. And it'll be facing this way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Q, uh, building, and then, uh, this is, I, I have high hopes that this is going to look good. Um, we could put that there and put that there. And it's kind of like right outside our house, which is, I think, really cool. Uh, there might be a, might be a problem with that later. Ah, you know what? We're going to go with it. Uh, if we have to pull a tree up, then I'm... Well, I'll be sad, actually. <laughs> so, we got plum, cherry, and we've got apple. I think that... You know what goes with apples? Pears. So, apple and pear. There we go. I think that I think those two go together. So, there we go. Now you got another tree. Hey, buddy, look at that. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. And then what we can do is we can go back in here and we can do the roads again. So this road comes along through here. Actually, it doesn't. It, it goes veering off that way, goes off that way. And this one can go veering off this way. Like that. Whoa! <laughs> there we go. Um. Yeah, don't really like that. Don't really like that. Yeah, it's this part I don't like. And maybe that part. Okay. And then what we can do is we can go back in here. Road. No. Uh, gravel road. Yes. And we could put this here. And we could put this over to here. I think that makes it. That's a little bit more uh, linear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That works. That works. Uh, I'm curious about what this is all going to look like in the summer. It right now it looks weird because of the this this is like a an orchard spot and it does something a bit strange. We'll we'll see how that looks in the in the spring. I suspect it'll look very differently. All right, so there's that. The other thing I wanted to do, so I wanted to plant a couple of trees here. Is there anywhere else we can stick some trees? Uh, we tried some of these spots. We got one there. We could put a tree in front of... Oh, these guys might like a tree right here. What do you think? I think that's probably kind of cool. I want to do this now because I, I want to get these in before spring so that we can see what they look like in the next season. Um, crops, orchard. So I'm hoping that we can... Yeah, there we go. Put it right here. It's under that tree, but I think it'll be cool. It. Yeah, we don't. we're not going to block their door. Yeah, okay. And what do you think they're going to like? How about 
Give him a cherry tree. I like cherry trees. Cherry trees are cool. There we go. We've got a tree there. We could have another tree over here. Yeah. Uh, and it would be facing that way. Okay. All right. And let's see. Nope, not fences. We're going to do fences as well. Um, let's see. Road. What am I doing? Building. Right. <laughs> uh, essentially, it's going to be this way. So if we could, if we could go, well, up here, and can we come down this way? No, it's it's interfered with by that road. Okay. So if I go over here, uh, yeah. Something's interfering with it. Probably that tree right there. Which is interesting because that tree over there didn't interfere. But maybe it's because of this. This is like a, one of the bushy trees. That was a pine, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, no. Hmm. Now these are... I'm not going to get rid of those. Uh, we could have a... We could have a tree right here. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Building. Oh my goodness. Sorry, it's just, for some reason, I'm having a bit of a mental block when it comes to the, uh, that stuff. Where the, uh, the menu items are. Okay, how about right here, and then, yeah, right here. There we go. And, punka. There we go. And, let's see. Plum? Yeah. Plum. There we go. All right. I think that's good for now. Um, before I place all of them, I think I want to see how that all turns out uh, and then go from there. I I don't... the In order to do any more, I think I'm going to have to start tearing, cutting down trees and stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to store them in here. Uh, why? I don't know. I think it just makes sense. There we go. We could probably put them in there, but then I don't know. I just think it's better in there. But yeah, it, it, we'll probably have to start cutting down trees before we can um, before we can put in uh, some of the other ones. Like this one here, I couldn't because that that blocks it. Stuff like that. And I didn't want to start cutting down trees without having a better idea of what I'm de idea of what I'm dealing with. All right, next thing on the list we wanted to take care of. I want to do a bit more of the uh, stonework. We've got we've got this stone here, and I think I wouldn't mind doing something maybe along here a little bit of stonework there just to make this and maybe here but I don't know if we're going to be able to but we can try maybe a little bit there I don't know I just like the idea of putting some very little like a, a few little stone walls um fences stone okay I can put something there and then we can have it go here like this and then maybe th there yeah okay that's not going to be enough it's too short hmm hmm okay Fences, stone fence. Let's go. Uh, maybe we could just extend it. I was hoping to avoid it, but I wanted to put a little bit of a curve in it. But we can go with that. That'll do. And then we've got the tree here. Yeah. And then, let's see. This one's a little trickier because we've got the uh, we've got this whole business. But maybe I don't know. Maybe we could uh, we could get rid of these guys. Yeah, let's get rid of these guys. I think that's a good idea. And then we'll put uh, some stone fencing here. Let's see. Let's grab uh, fencing, stone, and then we could start it off like right in here somewhere. And then we could run it out to... Let's see. Uh, there like that. And then from here to... 
there. Yeah. And then we could have another fencing from here. To... Oh. Can't go that way. Is it because of the bridge? Hang on. I think I messed that up. Maybe from... How f go there okay that gives us more flexibility and then essentially all the way up to where the tree is we can't block in the tree <laughs> we, the tree is there and it i mean really what we could do is we could put uh we could put something like here to there and there to there and then there to there and then that basically blocks that that makes a little tree alcove <laughs> that's kind of cool i like that idea and i don't really know what i'm gonna do with this we've got this little corner here maybe we could do something like right um here oh that's weird it won't let me okay that's kind of a little bit what do you think? Um, I'm just going to let you do whatever it is that you're doing. I have no idea what, what's going on. All right, buddy. That's fine. And I'll put that going, going to there. And then the idea is to do sort of the same kind of curvy thing. And then there up to here. As, as that is over there. I think it's going to make sense. All right. So what am I going to need in order to do this? I'm going to need, we're going to do building. It's probably just a whole lot of rocks. So let's go get a bunch of rocks. All right. And hopefully my people have been uh, harvesting rocks. I think they have. In fact, stones. Oh, we got 400. Nice. Now, actually, before we do anything, I have a... Uh, uh, 55 I can carry. 55 kilograms. Which is not a lot. Oh, it's literally fi 55 stones. All right. I mean, technically, we could do this. <laughs> Vicarish! He's like, bro, I am not a beast of burden. I know you're not, but that's okay. You're doing me a huge favor and one uh, for which I am eternally grateful. You can carry 75 kilograms. Okay. Uh, now, you still have the ability to carry 10 kilograms. Uh, I'm probably going to need it all. So, let's see. All right. And then that, we'll, put the, uh, we'll put these 10 in uh, the Krish's bags here. And we'll grab the uh, 55, I think it was, that I can carry. Now, I'm curious. Let's see what happens. If I max out my weight and I max out uh, Licorice's weight. See, I'm at 79.79 out of 80. And Licorice is at 75 out of 75. So the question is, can I ride Licorice when we are both maxed out? I know that the developers have been doing some... Oh, it looks like you can. Oh, oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Licorice, what are we doing? Oh, excuse me. Oh, my God. This is... <laughs> the goose was unfazed. <laughs> okay, so it looks like Licorice is uh, un unimpacted by, my, uh, by this whole situation. So that's really good. I, I'm glad about that. Okay, come on, Licorice. Let's see if we can find you a place to park. How about right... Here? Oh, you have a bit of inertia. I wonder if that's because of the weight. I don't think it is. I think it's just my bad driving. Okay. There we go. Let's uh, let's do a bit of building. What do you think, Licorice? Yeah. Um... Ooh. You know what? I'm not. Im I don't like this. Let's see if we can do better than this. Yeah. Let's see if we can do better than this. Let's go uh, to this fence right here. Okay. And and then we'll do. Uh, don't worry, Licorice. It's all fine. I know that that looked very like a lot of work, but it wasn't. 
I assure you. And what I want to do is I want to see if I can place one right as close to this one as I can, and then to as close as to this one as I can, and then hope that that's a little bit better. And I don't, I want to be, I don't want to seal off. I'm being, trying to be careful with sealing things off. I don't want to trap people. And, uh, cause yeah, I don't trust my, my people's, uh, ability to, wait a minute, what are we doing? Oh yeah, much better. Much better. There we go. What do you think, Licorice? Is this looking pretty cool or what? I agree. It's looking awesome. Okay. By the way, one of the things that I'm getting as I'm doing some building, uh, if we go into the building thing, I have 7,300 building points. At 7,500, I can build the big house. <laughs> ah. So that's going to be pretty fancy. So that's the, uh, in the future, it's one of the reasons why I was worried about the placement of the thing. That's, if I keep that house, I might build my house somewhere else. I'm not sure. I haven't decided what to do about that. But I want to build a big house. Oh, we need more stones. Wow. Okay, we went through those real quick. Um, 65. Okay. I'm going to be slow, but we'll be fine. There we go. This is a this is gonna be a lot of rocks. <laughs> That's a little funky, but I'm gonna we're gonna live with it. There we go. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Yep, we're definitely going to need to get more rocks from storage. We've only got enough to... And, hey, I had a spare hammer. <laughs> we can only do, yeah, three more of these. So this will be the third one. And we need eight more rocks. Actually, we need uh, eight... Uh, what was it? Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we need 32. I can actually carry that. I don't need any help with carrying 32. So we'll just go and grab 32 rocks and then we'll be fine. It's just, it's quicker just to run over here and uh, grab them. Uh, Licorice doesn't mind. He's, uh, he, he, I think he thinks, well, he says he's above uh, menial labor like that. <sighs> yeah, he's a bit of a stickler. Well, he's, he's a proud work ho uh, war horse. Not work horse. Oh my goodness, I hope he didn't hear me. He's a proud war horse, and he, he uh, yeah, he's got standards. There we go. And let's get you. And then we got you. Hmm. Of all of it, uh, I don't know if this this business here, I'm not sure how impressed I am with it. But we're going to have to... We can always destroy these. Um, and I might have to leave this open just because, you know, tree. I need to be able to get to the tree. But I do like this sort of... This idea, of, like we've got these little sort of... It, it's kind of like little corners for the... Uh, for the thing. We could even do like maybe a little extension going this way a little bit up until this uh, doorway. And uh, but that would require deleting some more road and putting road back in. I mean, we could do that. Get rid of that. Um, get rid of that. Um, nope. Uh, go like, nope. I go, oh, no, nope, no. Nope. Oh, my goodness. Okay, put that away. And then you go into fence, stone, and then essentially you get as close as you can to that one. And then maybe into here, like this and then it kind of has the same sort of curvy type thing and we just need eight more stones for that oh, oh sorry uh let's get the hammer out and set it to build grab eight more rocks 
eight more stone. There we go. <laughs> I love it when the animals all run around. Yeah, it's pretty good. Th this is hard to, to get right. There's only so you can only get so close. But yeah, see, this is kind of like, you know, it's sort of like a little uh, intersection, right? As I say, I'm not too sure about this. But I kind of like the idea that it's sort of all kind of surrounded in rock. And then lastly, what we can do is we can put in a, uh, some road uh, basically right here. We just go like this and then we bring it as close to this one as we can. And there we go. And that gives us the road uh, going that way. All right. Well, <laughs> oh, hang on. There we go. I think this is a good place to stop. I think we did pretty good. We did a, a, it was all, it was a beautiful, what do you think, Licorice? Is it beautiful now? What do you think? Yeah? Uh, oh, <laughs> now it's extra beautiful. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. All right, I think what I'm going to do is we're going to, I'm going to stop here. Um, I might, I might stay up a little bit uh, till dark and to get a nice uh, picture. And maybe use it for the for the screenshot for the thumbnail or something, but other than that, I think we're 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 ready for spring. And just so you know, spring of year twelve. Year twelve is the continuation, my understanding of Unigost's storyline, and it is actually the conclusion of Unigost's storyline. I do not know anything about it. I have no idea what it is, what it's about, but we're gonna find out. So, all right. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, you all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.